Who would like in the audience to hear a song from John Hume? What renegade said no? Or absolutely not? Or was it? John, for all the times that you've been on the show, we never had a song from you. Contro control yourselves there. Would you? What are you saying? What, what about Eamon McCann? He said it. Oh, yes. We'll oh, talk to you later, You'll deal with him later on. Would you give us a little bar? You would. Yeah. James? Are you there? Okay, yeah. Give that man a microphone there. Do you know the words of the song you're going to say? Right you leave it to yourself. You drop it. Drop anybody in on this show, that's what we do all the time. It's a Donny Gall song, next door to us, right? It's the shortest one I know. He's Lana It's She cast a doos in a year, a ball of roses per soon. She almost do on Shahram, ran on a buggery. It's a rain or lach or I gave a free chin canach, cause cune is in sans bear. Our own mock lay, nor village, our so gruff reach, nor gerich, is a rain a glory red gilia, torah and ephere. You didn't make me laugh, Michael. <laughs> Come, John, well done. Sit down there now, John. I have a note here on my all-embracing brief on this programme to say that you were a wow in the fesh in Derry. Is that true? <laughs> a wow. No, he wasn't. Completely, not. completely <laughs> untrue. You mean you never entered for the fesh? I entered for the fesh once in my life when I was very young. I was about nine or ten years old. I was to sing a song called Movestin Lia. I was number 11 on the Clare. And uh, mm. just as number 10 went on the stage, I got enormous fright and I ran all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> and I never appeared. Never did a fesh? Never. <laughs> never did a fesh. No. So, so, so it's all lies, I have. <laughs> complete and absolute, yeah. God, I was told you were a Gold Cup winner and a oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Dibble and all you did in the fesh. No, nothing, that's right. You must be the only one in Derry who never did, then. That's absolutely right, yeah. Well, I'm I tried, though. I'm yeah. glad ever since, John, you got over your stage fright, I anyway. Did, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. You're no longer shy and returning yeah. and all that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> what about, talk to me about Derry characters, John. Do you, are there any characters in Derry now? Well, I, I think when we were all growing up, we were all very conscious of that there was plenty of characters around the city. And, um, but I, I don't think there's any around today at all, because, uh, and I think one of the reasons for that is that they've all, they've all passed the 11 plus. <laughs> 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 because I, I believe our characters were highly intelligent people who didn't get a formal education, and they're intelligence didn't find an outlet so they became eccentric and they we thought we were laughing at them but in fact they were laughing, they were laughing at us mm. and uh, i think that uh, one of the reasons we don't have characters today is for that very reason but we had a lot of them in in, mm. in the old days and did you have anything remotely resembling like a bang bang in in, in dublin or any of those guys you you furrow your brow when i mention bang bang but any dubliner worth the salt will know who bang bang was yeah. did you have any of those guys around well, i think we had a lot of them and uh, and uh, i'm sure that every neighborhood in and in Derry, when we were growing up, there was a very great neighbourhood consciousness. You were conscious of what area you came from. And we had plenty of characters. In fact, one of them, uh, who's probably our best-known character, I'll just call him Johnny, and everybody will know who I'm talking about. Johnny. Uh, and, and, and Bishop Daly went to visit him. He, he, he was very old at the time and was in our local psychiatric hospital. And Bishop Daly went down to visit him. And Johnny was talking to him and, and says to him, uh, How are you doing, Father Daly? 
Bishop Daly, of course, used to be Father Daly. That's the way to get on. <laughs> 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 and uh, Johnny says to him, uh, he says, but I'm now Bishop Daly. Johnny says, I saw you last. He says, well, don't worry about it, Father. He says, if you stick around here for another fortnight, you'll think you're the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> And everybody thought Johnny was mad. <laughs> that, that's right. Johnny was... Yeah. Yeah, Who's laughing yeah. at who? Yeah. <laughs> is he, is, is, is he still around now? Oh, he's still around. He's still yeah. there, is he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who else then? Are there any others that you can think of? Yeah, well, there was Maggie. We all knew when we were growing <laughs> Maggie. up. Maggie. <laughs> and the great story about Maggie, of course, is in, again in the cathedral saying her prayers, and as she always did at the top of her voice, and she's interrupted by a, a lady who prayed there regularly. Says, excuse me, madam, but you're... you're you know, you're too loud and you're distracting me. Would you mind lowering your voice? So Maggie looked around at the altar, looked up and down at the lady and said, as I was saying, our lady of Lourdes, <laughs> before that so-and-so interrupted me. <laughs> and the word uh, was not so-and-so. <laughs> it's a bit too impolite to oh, use here, but, you know. Isn't that lovely? But that was another very well-known. And as I say, I think most people here could talk about the characters in Derry, but they have all gone. Yeah. And I think one of the reasons for it is the fact that... Uh, I mean, just you imagine Nell McCaffrey, for example. If Nell hadn't passed the 11 plus and got a university education, <laughs> what's the, what sort of character Nell might have been, you know? <laughs> they, they'd be calling her Nell. Sorry about that, Nell. <laughs> <laughs> and she was still in Derry. <laughs> Come to think of what you just say, Nell. Everybody knows who you're talking about yeah. anyway. There you are.